Mutual is online, an online wagering site created by the horse player for the horse player. Mutual is online offers secure and user-friendly phone and online account wagering with free live videos and free race replays. Sign up now, bet $100, and get $100 plus $25 in loyalty bucks. Visit MutualsOnline.com and use code JUG12 to join today. Hi everyone, I'm Gigi Diaz giving you a big welcome to the 42nd Jagged. There's a lot of excitement to be enjoyed and maybe even a few records will fall. The $51,000 second division of the Buckhead is about to take off. And Maven is looking to add to her $400,000 earnings for this year. It's looking like Bluff is going to be her biggest competition on the track. Here up and running, that's Angel Eyes Hanover and going to lead with Bluff on the inside. Miss Chip K goes off stride. Half, racing second, coming to the halfway point. That's Angel Eyes Hanover, racing third, Lundy or victory. Halfway home, racing second, Bluff and Lundy. The Maven continue to close with every stride. On the inside, Bluff, Maven on the outside, Bluff! 154. Finally, for at least one day in her life, she put it together. So hopefully we'll see if she can keep it together. The sun is shining and it is an absolutely beautiful day here in Delaware, Ohio. Perfect for the $296,000 jugette. 15 horses entered and were divided into two elimination heats. The first features American Jewel. This horse has not placed worse than third in nine starts this year. The second elimination features Economy Terror, who narrowly beat American Jewel in voting for the Dan Patch Award for two-year-old Philly Pacers. Here's how it all went down. Here off and pacing persistent is off stride of the start. The end of the turn on the outside, better be lucky, grabs the racetrack. To the halfway point, moving on the outside up front, secret. To the back side they go. Better be lucky, down the back side. American Jewel still on the outside, second, but not keeping up with the leader. Turn the dragon, down the stretch, better be lucky, has the lead. The battle's on for second and third, better be lucky. National season to record. With all the talk about American Jewel, did you know from the start that this horse had what it took? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you compare, can you compare it to an American Jewel? I don't know. But, uh, you know, she definitely, you know, fits this caliber of Philly. And, you know, there's just so much luck involved in this game and on these half mile tracks. And you enter them and you hope for the best. Going for the lead, Jarena Hanover. Economy Terror up on the outside. Up shell escape, funnels the cover to the outside, but trailing. Coming to the halfway point. Economy Terror, halfway home, three wide off the turn. Shell escape, opening up with every stride. Economy Terror, racing second. Jarena Hanover to the wire. Shell escape. World record. Lifetime mark, 153. Tell me about this drive. Well, I was going to leave the gate, but they were just going out of there so hard on both sides of me that I knew it was going to be a, an impossible spot that we got into. So I just followed the field around, and then she was fortunate to get, get third over because that's so much better than fourth over. And uh, I see she just drew the rail, so that's a good thing. We're happy about that. But and the field got even shorter when Economy Terror was scratched. It is now looking like a battle between Shell Escape, American Jewel, and Better Be Lucky. Better Be Lucky, fast out of the gate. Shell Escape on the inside, second, racing third. Take your seat, Dorina Hanover.
but it's awesome. I mean, you don't get chances to finish one, two in premier races very often. And, you know, it's an awesome feeling. And, you know, I love the fact that Yannick had, the, you know, the confidence in his filly to give her a shot. You know, a lot of people wouldn't have pulled her where he did and gave her a chance. So, you know, I give Yannick all the credit in the world. He said after the first heat, Ronnie, she's ready. We'll be good. So I'm happy with that. I didn't think I could win being first up from third in the first heat. Well, I didn't think I could win from that spot in the second heat as well. So that's why I sat in the first heat. And I was like, you know what, if I get lucky and shake loose, I can be second or third and I still have a chance. You know, like, that was my reasoning. And I mean, I thought, no, Shelly Scape had a lot of pace finishing too, but she never got used the first heat. And I used mine early and she had a ton of pace finishing. So uh, I was, uh, I thought I had a fresh horse going in the final. And, um, you know, usually the Berks horse, they don't mind going to eat. So they usually go to eat every Wednesday. <laughs> The day is over and done with and they're cleaning up for tomorrow. The 42nd Jughead is in the books with Dorina Hanover and Yannick Jingra as the winners. I'm Gigi Diaz and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Little Brown Jug.